Hey everybody, welcome to The Loft at Home. I'm Jasper Blake, I'll be your instructor today. We got a great workout planned, let's get ready to rock. Hey everybody, nice to see ya. We got a great session planned today. We're gonna start off with seven minutes, nice and easy here. Really important at the start of these workouts that you warm up your body. Uh, you wanna have, after this warm up, a little bit of a sweat going. You don't wanna be totally smashed, obviously. We're gonna save that for the main set. But you wanna make sure your core body temperature is up and your muscles are ready to go. So as we start here, it's at your own pace. However you're feeling, don't force it. Just get the legs moving, nice and easy. On a perceived effort scale, this should feel like 50 to 55%, nice and chill. Now, if you're using something like FTP, your functional threshold power, if you know that number, anything in the 55 to 60% of that is totally fine. So nice and easy here, just get the legs going. We'll talk about RPM or cadence as this workout goes on, but for now, don't force it. You know, if you're a more experienced rider, you're probably gonna settle right into about that 85 to 95 RPM. If you're fairly new and that feels really fast, you know, you might be around 75, 80 right now and that's totally fine. RPM is the amount of times your leg is going around the pedal stroke each minute. And when you hear the number 85 or 90, it's referring to one leg only. So how many times is each leg going around each minute? RPM is an important factor in cycling. It's a great thing to tune into. Most stationary bikes will have a cadence or an RPM meter. So if you can find it uh, on, your, on your display, great. If you don't have one, no problem. You can actually just do a little quick count. You can count how many times your leg is coming through, let's say in 10 or 15 seconds, and then multiply by six or multiply by four if you're going for 15 seconds. Pretty easy, it's a good number to start tuning into if you're new to cycling. So let's keep cruising here, nice and easy. Usually you'll find as the minutes kind of tick on here and the body warms up, start to feel a little bit smoother in the pedal stroke. That's good. Maybe the effort comes up a little bit. But we do want to keep that perceived effort in the 50 to 55, 60%, uh, or if you're using FTP, 55 to 60% during the warm up. We don't want to force it any higher. We got lots of great work coming. Now it's just an opportunity to get the body warm and get the muscles ready to go. We're coming up on halfway through the first part of our warm up here. I always like to do some activation uh, pieces for the warm up. And by activation, this is where we do put a little bit of effort into the warm up. So when the main set starts, when the real heart of our workout starts, you're really ready to go. So we're gonna start that in about three and a half minutes. The first thing we're gonna do is some single leg pedaling. Now, if you're new to cycling, this might be new to you. If you're experienced or you've been going to a spin class, uh, you're probably familiar with single leg riding. Basically, what we're gonna do is unclip uh, one foot entirely and pedal only with the other foot. This is a really, really good drill to help you smooth out that pedal stroke to work out any of the dead spots. And it's really great to warm up all the little muscles that are, need to be engaged around the pedal stroke to keep it smooth, okay? Now, let's say you're on a bike where you don't have clip-in pedals. This is gonna be very hard. So if you have just flat pedals on your bike and running shoes, and this is impossible for you, instead what I want you to do is just pick the RPM up a little bit for the length of time that we're gonna go. And I'll, I'll direct you on that. So if you don't have clip-in pedals, 
I'll give you a different cue. But if you have flipping pedals, we're gonna do two rounds of 30 seconds on our right leg only, 30 seconds on our left leg only, okay? If you have flat pedals and you're not clipped in, we're gonna do two rounds of 30 seconds at a slightly higher RPM than you're going, and 30 seconds nice and easy, okay? We're gonna get going here in two minutes. Two minutes until we start our first little activation set. Again, still part of the warm up. The goal here is not to smash yourself, it's just to have the body nice and ready to go when we start the main set. Whew, I don't know about you, but I'm getting warm. That's a good sign. Okay, we got 90 seconds here. start that single leg work in just about a minute here. This is a bit of an old school drill. If you've been around cycling for a long time, maybe you were competitive back in the day, maybe you're competitive now, you may have experienced this already. Really great drill. Really great drill to get the body warm, get those little muscle groups firing. We're gonna start in 30 seconds. So just a reminder, Again, if you do not have clip-in pedals, this particular drill is gonna be hard if not impossible for you. So instead, what I'd like you to do is 30 seconds where you just bring the RPM or the cadence up about five higher than you're currently doing, and then 30 seconds nice and easy. Let's get ready here in 10. Let's get ready in five. And here we go. I'm clipping the left leg entirely. And we're just pedaling with the right leg. The goal here is to make it as smooth as possible. Funny enough, the challenge with this is really how fast you can spin while keeping it smooth, not how hard you push. So, you know, that resistance you gotta play around with a little bit to get yourself in a position where you can just pedal smoothly. All right, let's switch it up here. So clipping in the other foot and I'm clipping the right leg. If you're new to clip in pedals, this is also a really great opportunity for you to learn how to clip in and out of your pedals. So when you come to a stop sign and have to get that foot out quickly, you're not falling on your side. Which by the way, happens to all of us. Five seconds and we're gonna switch. Ready, and back to the first leg you started with. In my case, that's my right leg. Nice and smooth here. Great job, great job. 10 seconds until we make the switch. Three. Two, one, and switch it up. Last time for single leg. Now, what we're gonna do next, as soon as we clip in, we're gonna go 30 seconds where we try and aim for about 95 to 105 RPM. Okay, so that foot's gonna clip in, and the next piece of our activation here is gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds easy at higher RPM. Let's get ready. And here we go, clipping in, and then let's bring that RPM right up. I'm giving you a range of about 95 to 105. If you're on the more experienced end of things, you might want to inch that up a little bit. But if you're kind of new to cycling, no problem to keep it, you know, 85 to 90 if you find that challenging. And nice and easy, good. So if you are not doing the single leg, no worries. 
you're just doing four rounds of basically the high RPM stuff. All right, we're gonna do one more of these. One in 10 seconds. As the body gets warmer, let's see if you can bring that RPM up even a little higher. Three, two, one, here we go. When you're doing higher RPM work, you wanna make sure your bum isn't bouncing up and down in the saddle. If you find that it is, chances are you're going a little bit too fast, past the point where you can actually coordinate that movement. Three, two, one, good. Nice and easy. So if you find yourself bouncing, just dial it back a tiny bit until you get it under control and hang out there. All right, last little piece of our activation set here. We're gonna do 20 seconds standing, 40 seconds seated. Okay, let's get ready in five, three, two, one, and here we go. You might need to increase the resistance a little bit. Give yourself something a little bit more to push on. Again, part of the warm up here. This is not the part where you smash it. We're just getting warm. And take a seat. Dial the resistance back a bit if you need to. Keep the legs moving here. We're gonna do one more of those. And then we're gonna go nice and easy for a couple more minutes. And I'm gonna explain the main set to you. Great job, everybody. All right, 10 seconds. Again, we're going 20 seconds standing, 40 seconds seated. Three, two, one. Here we go, up. Nice and light on the pedals here. You wanna dance side to side. Good job, good job. And take a seat. Dial that resistance back. Lots of easy pedaling here. So I don't know about you, but I'm sweating, and that's a good thing. You really wanna make sure the body is warm and ready to go before you start doing any hard work. It's one of the most common mistakes that people make is they go out of the gate too hard and their body isn't quite there yet. You can't force it. You gotta really ease yourself into these bigger workouts so you can hit it when it counts. Okay, main set today, five times two minutes. So we're gonna do two minutes of hard work, two minutes nice and easy. So equal rest for equal play. The first two minutes is all seated. And this effort should be about 85 to 90% of your perceived effort. If you're using FTP or functional threshold power, I want you around 110% of that FTP for this set, okay? So the first round is two minutes seated. And then each round after that, we're gonna add 30 seconds standing. So the last interval we're gonna to do today, that fifth one, is gonna be two minutes standing, which should be a good challenge for most people, okay? So, all of the efforts can be pretty similar in that 85 to 90% range. Obviously, when you stand up, usually that's gonna put the heart rate up a little bit, might bring the effort up a little bit, that's totally fine. Let's have a good set today. We're gonna go in 45 seconds. Again, we're going two minutes seated for this first one. As far as RPM or cadence goes, this can be kinda up at the upper end of what challenges you, but not crazy. We're not like looking for super fast here. 
We're looking for that place where you think you're generating the most amount of power. The place where if you're climbing a two minute hill, the place where you feel like, hey, this is the cadence that I can go the fastest at. Let's get ready in 10 seconds. For me, that's about 95 to 105. Three, two, one, here we go. Two minutes seated here. Really strong effort. Just like you're climbing a nice solid hill here. 85 to 90% perceived effort, but 110% of your FTP. Really important to challenge yourself here. You won't get the fitness benefits if you don't push yourself. Great job, everybody, great job. All right, we're halfway through this interval here. Let's squeeze out a little bit more if you got it. Nice, smooth pedal stroke. Keep the shoulders and the hands nice and relaxed. Drive all that energy into the places you need it most. Your legs. Relax your face. Settle in here. Great job, great job. 30 seconds to go, come on now. Really push here, let's go, let's go. Come on, hang in there. Keep going, 10 seconds to go, let's go. Right to the top now, don't stop, don't stop. And good. Whew. Nice and easy, I don't know about you, but I am really starting to sweat here. Hopefully you brought a water bottle. You know, some people get uh, a little turned off or discouraged by heat or when they start to get hot. And what I want to remind you is when that core temperature comes up, it's actually a real fitness trigger. The heat isn't a bad thing. That's really going to encourage your body to make lots of physiological changes that are beneficial to fitness. So as much as we have to be careful maybe in really hot weather and make sure we rehydrate properly you know, during and after the session, don't be afraid if you start to feel a little bit hot, that's okay. That's just gonna help your body gain even more fitness than if you weren't. It helps trigger your sweat response, which is a really good thing, especially as we head into warmer weather here. Okay, 45 seconds until interval number two. Now a reminder, we are adding 30 seconds of standing to this. So this one will be 90 seconds seated at the same effort we just did. And then the last 30 seconds of this two minute piece will be standing, okay? Now, if you are somebody that is not comfortable standing or it doesn't feel right or feels super awkward or you have maybe an injury that doesn't allow that, please stay seated but add five RPM to uh, the cadence that you're currently doing. So two options here. Number one is to stand. Number two is to add a little bit of RPM. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's bring that resistance up a little bit. Get those legs going. You gotta dive into each interval here. It's only two minutes. Every second of it counts. Same effort as before here. 85 to 90% perceived effort for about 110% of your FTP number. 30 seconds in. 
Very good, very good. My RPM is about 96 right now. This feels pretty good for me. Feels nice and steady, nice and strong. So good, so good. We're 30 seconds to go here until we make a stand. We're over halfway of this interval. Stay on it here. All right, let's get ready to stand here in 10 seconds. You might need to add a bit more resistance so you have something to push against. Three, two, one, and here we go. Last 30 seconds here. Let's go, let's go. Very good. Dancing side to side here. Nice and light on the pedals, keep it smooth. 10 seconds, come on. Right to the finish, let's go. Good. Take a seat, oh. Woo. Nice job, everybody. Keep those legs moving. Keep them moving. One of the worst things you can do is to stop pedaling altogether. You really want to keep the legs moving here. Really good job. Woo. That was a good one. Okay. Rep number three. Again, we're adding 30 seconds of standing. So this one is one minute seated, one minute standing. You probably noticed in that 30 second standing piece that the heart rate's coming up for sure. Feels like the effort's coming up a bit as well. Totally normal, totally okay. Keep your legs moving here. One minute until we go again. Grab a little drink. Hopefully you brought a water bottle. We're gonna go here in 40 seconds. Reminder, if standing is not happening for you, totally fine. Just encourage a little bit more RPM or cadence. So spin the legs a little bit faster for the part where we're standing. 20 seconds to go. Great job, everybody. 10 seconds. Let's get our head in the game here. Going at five, three, two, one. Here we go. One minute seated. Get on that gear. Get on that effort right away. Always check in with where you're holding tension. You don't want tension in your face, in your hands, in your shoulders. You want it all in the legs, doing the work. 30 seconds in here, great job, great job. Twenty seconds until we stand. Stay on the gear here. Very good, very good. Let's get ready to stand here in five. Ready, here we go. You might need to add a bit of resistance, that's okay. Nice and light on the pedals here. Dancing side to side. You want to make sure your turnover is still good, cadence is still good, and that pedal stroke is still smooth. Halfway through this standing piece. Let's go, let's go. Whew. 
Right to the finish here, come on. 15 seconds to go. Very good, very good. Right to the finish now, come on. And good. Take a seat. Oh, nice job. Well, I'm sure getting my heart rate up. Definitely sweating. Very good, very good. So, here's the deal with training. We're in the back half of this set now. We got two intervals left. This is the time where you really gotta commit. This is the time where you gotta make a choice mentally. Whether you're in with both feet or whether you're gonna back off and be lame. Okay, you gotta be in with both feet. When you're tired and you gotta fight for it, this is where you get all the benefit from. So you gotta make a mental choice here to dig in and really commit to this interval. So this next one is 30 seconds seated, 90 seconds standing. Again, if standing does not agree with you, you go 30 seconds, what I would call your normal RPM, and 90 seconds where you fight for about five more. Really challenge yourself. Great job so far, everybody. 40 seconds here until we go. It's all about the choice you're gonna make here. You're in or you're out. Being halfway is the worst place you can be. I recommend being all in. That's where you get all the fitness gains. 20 seconds until we go. 15 seconds. All together now, hey? Let's be accountable to each other. We're going in five, three, two, one, here we go. Let's settle in here, 30 seconds seated. If you're using FTP, get right back to that wattage and keep fighting for it. Nice and smooth here. 10 seconds until we stand. Five seconds, ready. And here we go, out of the saddle. Let's find a real good rhythm here. 90 seconds of standing might be a pretty good challenge for some people. That's okay, you can do it. Just take it 30 seconds at a time. Small chunks, that's all you gotta manage. Good job, good job. Guys, we're halfway through this interval. One minute to go. Stick with it here, come on. Very good, very good. Thirty seconds to go. Come on, you got this now. Let's go. Fight for it here. Right to the finish. Don't stop. Come on. Keep that rhythm. Let's go. Let's go. Five seconds to go. Come on. Right to the top here. And good. Nice work. Keep your legs moving. I know you want to stop. I know you want to stop, and it's the worst thing you can do. You gotta keep your legs moving here. You'll recover more quickly. We got one to go. Just like that. We're near the end of our set here. Really good job, everybody. So good. Oh, I'm cracking a bead. This is a good workout. 
Definitely take a drink if you got some water. Keep those legs moving. All right, you know what's coming. Two minutes standing here. And I know for some of you that's gonna sound like a monumental task, but I encourage you to break it up into 30 second pieces because that's easier to handle mentally. I'm gonna give you the 30 second cues. That's all I want you to focus on is just those little chunks. Okay? All together here. Let's be accountable to everybody who's taking part in this workout. We're gonna go in 30 seconds. That discomfort that you feel when it gets tough, you gotta lean into that. That's a good thing. That is what makes you fitter, and that's why you come to these classes. 10 seconds until we go. Last interval. In with both feet here, in five, three, two, one, and here we go. Up for two minutes. Let's find a good rhythm right away. Nice rhythm, side to side, pedal to pedal, as smooth as you can possibly make it, okay? I'm gonna give you the 30 second cues here. If you're not standing, that's totally fine. There's 30 seconds, very good. If you're not standing, just settle into that higher RPM and keep digging for it the whole time. Really fight for it. Even when we're standing up, you gotta Take a check-in of where you're holding any tension. You don't need it in your face. You don't need it in your hands. Nice and relaxed. That's a minute. Home stretch here. Come on. Keep digging here. Come on. Keep standing, come on. There we go, 30 seconds. Let's go. Whatever you got left here. Come on now. Let's go. Keep going. Don't stop. Right to the top of your favorite climb. Let's go here. 10 to go, come on. Keep going, let's go. Right to the finish, let's go, let's go. And good. Nice job. Way to go. Keep your legs moving. Keep them moving. I know you wanna just shut off completely, but you gotta keep them moving. Nice work. Okay. So we got our usual rest interval here. We got about a minute 20 left. We're gonna finish this workout with a little set of five times, 10 seconds as hard and as fast as you can go. So this is high RPM, max power, but it's only 10 seconds, okay? Like piece of cake, 10 seconds out of your life, nothing. And then we get a huge rest interval, comparatively. Okay, we get 50, five, zero seconds. So these are basically on a minute turnaround. We're gonna do five of those. I always like ending workouts with a little bit higher RPM stuff, so your nervous system is encouraged to kind of work yourself up the RPM change. As RPM goes up, that's how one way that you can generate more of the power that you need. So it's a good little exercise. And then after that, five minutes easy, and you're done. All right, let's get ready here for 15 seconds. 
So again, this is 10 seconds, high RPM, high power, high effort. Ready, five, three, two, one, and here we go. Okay. Good. Nice, lots of rest here. Keep the legs moving. Very good. Thirty seconds till our next one. Ten seconds pre feels pretty short, hey? Especially after a two minute or twenty seconds until we go. Four more. Going here in ten. Let's get ready in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Drive it up, come on. Okay. Good. You've probably figured out by now that before you start that, you need a fair bit more resistance or you just spin out. It's not an exact science, but if you're on a stationary bike, you'll probably get a feel for where that dial needs to be. And if you're on your own bike on a trainer and you can adjust the wattage, you'll get a feel for what that wattage can be. All right, number three. We're going in 10. Three to go in five. Three, two, one, here we go. Big push, come on. Okay, good. Keep your legs moving. Two to go. Awesome job. Very good, very good, 30 seconds. Two more, two more and then we spin nice and easy to the coffee shop or your kitchen or whatever. Let's get ready here in 10 seconds. All right, we're going in five, three, two, one. Here we go, big push, come on. Okay, nice work, keep spinning here, so good, one more to go, very good, very good, last one, you've done such a great job on this workout. Let's go out with a bang here. We're going in 15 seconds. We're going in 10. Last one, fast one. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, big push, come on. Okay. Good. Oh, nice work. Keep your legs moving for sure. Awesome job. Well done. So we got to keep our legs moving here. We got about five and a half minutes. It's just so important that you do a cool down. Okay. Even if you have to cut the main set of a workout short, if you're if you're pressed for time, 
you're better off just going a little bit shorter there and making sure you have a few minutes to really cool down. It'll help your recovery in a big way. Definitely grab a drink if you got it. Really important on these workouts too, especially if you're indoors and you're sweating. Indoors typically is a lot warmer. You wanna make sure you replace fluids, electrolytes after these sessions. It'll help you recover. That was an excellent set today, everybody. Very good. So when we cool down, just like the warm up, you know, anything in that 50 to 60% of perceived effort is good. So 55 to 60% of your FTP is totally fine. If you do have zones, like if you've had testing done and you have a zone profile, obviously zone one, your recovery zone, or a little bit into zone two is okay as well. At the very bottom of that. The important thing is that you keep the legs moving and you spin out that work. We got about three and a half minutes until our 45 minute piece is officially up. I always encourage people if they do have a little bit more time, you know, spend another five minutes just easy pedaling. It won't hurt you, it'll only benefit you. One thing that's so great about indoor riding is that you don't need a lot of time to have a really good workout. It's very efficient. It's very efficient. You can get on, warm up, bang out a really good workout, and then you're done. You got kids, you know, and you gotta be at home because you're looking after them. Well, you still get a workout done. We've got about two and a half minutes left. Your heart rate should be coming down for sure. If you still feel like it's really elevated for some reason, just check in and see if you're maybe pedaling too hard. Again, the effort here, 50 to 60% perceived. 55, 60% of your FTP, zone one, maybe bottom end of zone two, is totally acceptable. Got just over 90 seconds here. Thanks for coming everybody. It's always nice knowing that you're doing these sessions with other people. There's definitely a level of accountability that's good. Often we'll show up more for other people than we will for ourselves sometimes, which is kind of weird, but also quite true. So if you made it here, nice job. One minute. Big thanks to the loft here at Trek Pro City Bikes. If you're interested in seeing more of these sessions, Make sure you check out the lock of Pro City B78 Coaching. I'm the head coach of B78 Coaching. And uh, 
can help people get ready for tons of different events and uh, we're regulars here at the lot. Hey, thanks for joining and uh, if you like this, make sure you subscribe. Definitely give us a thumbs up if you really like it. Uh, always up for feedback too, so please don't uh, be shy about leaving some comments about how we can do better or whether you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to learn more about B78 Coaching, you can find all our information uh, in, the, in the text box below. And uh, thanks for joining us. This has been great.